<laughs> All right, good night, guys. All righty, folks. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you may be. Adam Gilson here with Modern Foosball. Day three of the Washington State Ready? Foosball Championships. Open doubles, final. On the left-hand side, coming from the elimination bracket, Phil Schlafer and Mo Uden. On the right-hand side, Cody Byrie up front, Joseph Weiborg at Nets. This is a three out of five set, and if Phil and Mo win the first set, we go into the second set. Three to five, win by two. We have the players are mic'd. The yeah. live stats are being done by Clay Toomey. You all are sitting there. Hopefully you've got your popcorn ready. It is one nothing already in favor of Phil and Mo. Live stats are being recorded. We will peek at them throughout the match, folks. Adds a layer to foosball as much as the layer is added for hear folks like this talk. Things out during timeouts. Down the middle goes Byrie. See a defense difference. Phil can continue to penetrate on the five. That one picked up though. Blocked. Steep wall. All the way back. Wow. <laughs> Air mail to Mo. I thought that was leaving the table, so I switched to see where it was going, and it was just going straight back to the other goal. And we all know, if you've ever watched Cody play, he can score from the back. He can bank it. He can shoot it. He can pass it. Both walls up the middle. Doesn't matter. He's won tons of goalie war titles. He's a threat back here for sure. Bank, far side, tied 2-2 in this first game. Took him a few tries. He was 0 for 3 before that, clearing the ball. Uh, but they all came back to him, and he just kept having another shot. Simple as that. He can do, like I said, he can do that both walls. He's got a lot of options back there. It's actually not fun to defend that at all. <laughs> Phil, though, quickly gets it to his three. Fortunate there, three, two. Switch now. Yeah. Wyborg back up front. Everybody. Timeout so, uh, called. One thing. I'm trying to get him no, no, to no, jump no, no. on his D. Uh, I want you to uh, get to a piece of the loose ball. So when I'm shooting, I'm looking at the gaps, whether it's a straight. Right, right. So you want to match your five no, bar I get with that. that. Yeah. So just just get a piece of it so I can get the ball. Don't give him the ball in the three. I'm trying not to. Yeah, yeah. So but the rest I was trying to establish a couple splits, but it doesn't look like they're no, really no, giving no, you're me doing, the splits, you're do, right? You're doing fine. You just st stick to your game right now. Wow. I love that. Yeah. Mo, captaining from back there. Tell him to get a piece of him. What he's getting a piece of there is that pass from Byrie. Doefish sent it up along <laughs> almost the wall, but it's still picked up by Uden. I'm laughing because you said what he was called in the chat, Joe Fish. I Instead love it. Joseph, yeah. Even if that's not even what the, – that was a mistake, it don't matter. It's well, Joe Fish now. I wish I had time to go down there and ask him if that's okay because I'd call him that the whole match. Yeah, defense, let's go. 4-2. He goes, grunting all the way. Yeah. Wow. That is, a, that is a nice pass to whip out and just couldn't quite hold on to it on the three. Phil. We've seen Mo can score from back here. He has that shot exactly. The pull kick to that far hole. That is a monster of a shot, too. It is, and it's scary. It's on goal. It's hard. Wyborg, though, not moving. Another a possession, though, for Mo, who just eases it up to the three of Phil. Phil, quick shot attempt, hits the back of the wall, ends up on Byrie's three. Pulls within one. Switch. Wyborg up front. Ready? Ready. Five bar cam here. Phil just smooth. Just missed that with his three. 
Poked it through, though. Almost poked that back to the back of the hole. Again. I actually like this overhead for the way that Cody shoots from the back, because you can see, yeah, really just how on point that is. Yeah, and Mo, to his point, defensively had a much better zone for that as he passes it up. That's two to of those. Phil. Phil, now I think this is his third chance to put away game one. There's the timeout. So what I'd like to do is when we're blocking Mo's two bar, bait a specific pass and then steal it, you know what I mean? Okay. And then the goalie will just block the shot. So it might be the wall, it might be lane, but he's been going after the wall. And if he goes short, I've been there every time, so that's really the only thing to worry about too much. Right. I mean, here. he did blast a long poke. I know, but I can see that, that's, okay. that's a jump. I just made his pole was like a short spray behind. So if you're in the passing lane and block that, yeah. you know, just bait it though. You're out. Pretty sure, right? You need your switching, yeah, that's right. Ready? Uh, yeah. Right. Get some insight, though, defensively, what he's thinking. Down by one, Phil. Looking middle now, that defense giving middle. But he goes far and puts it away, shouts yes. Game one, grunting. I really like that, uh, that conversation with Cody and Joseph because there's one thing in particular that I that I really enjoy about that because Joseph said but, you know, he can blast that long pull kick, which is true, and it's worth worrying about, and it's and it's reasonable that he had that thought because I would I had the same. It's, I mean I was talking about it before he did it, so I'm right there with you. And Cody's casual response was like, "Yeah, but I could see that." So because you you have to pull it over and then hit it. So yeah, I, I it's not a dismissal of the other team's potential or what they're able to do, but it is just a very calming you know, reassuring statement to your teammate. Like, yeah, you know, that's true, but I can cover it, so it's all good. I love it. I love being able to hear what they're saying. Yep. Game number two underway here. Byrie, quick to the three. Shot attempt forward, but Mo was just sitting there camping, had his pup Ted out. Coleman still out camping trip this weekend. <laughs> Mo. And that's ex that. That's what they talked about on that. And he, he burned a... Uh, We'll get back to that in a second. There's a lot of action yeah. on the table. Yeah, Mo uncharacteristically, or maybe not so uncharacteristically, doing a quick shot. But now, on the box, tried to do a pass, I think. Five-bar shot by Byrie. Completely different tone this second game yeah. here. Everybody's playing a little bit more up-tempo, doing a little bit more things we hadn't been seeing up until this point. Five-bar shots, quick two-bar shots. Phil may be going to slow it down, being the pro that he is. And that's precisely what Cody was saying. Like, we'll bait a pass. And then we'll be there for it. And so far, Mo zero zero in this second game. Mo has already tried two passes. He was baited both times, and, and they got swatted back both times. Mm. So that it's that's the it's one of those things about foosball that I think a lot of folks don't always, uh, especially if you're new to foosball, if you don't play foosball at all. Like there's a lot of things that you might not know in those little conversations off to the side, where somebody who's smart like Cody, I mean, he's very experienced, very intelligent foosball player. Um, and it's just a casual conversation. We'll bait this. Well, he'll do that. We'll do this. And I love that part of the game so much. No, it's fantastic. And all that conversation ended up, th 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 that plan that they had ended up it being one nothing now as he yeah. steals this away. I mean, yeah, words turn into actions, turns into results. That's the way it goes. Don't just sit there and hope something's going to happen. Don't yeah. keep doing the same thing over and over again. That's the definition of... Not good. And those were passes in the previous game that were converted to scores. 2 nothing now in favor of Cody and Joseph after losing the first one. Talked about it, though. Talked to your partners. Timeout called. I thought that three quarters would be there on that, and it just, just kind of went middle around him somehow, you know. <laughs> first. The whole side was open. I've been blocking his, his shot a little bit better now. Cool. With a little bit less movement. You cool. Know. Yeah. yeah. Roll over position. Byrie. Rocking, dancing, scoring. 3 1 now in the second game. It's the power.
power of a timeout, man. You, you, you step away from the table, and especially if you're Phil, we've seen him do this all week, and we've seen him do it at other tournaments. When he steps away, he's not just taking a breath and drinking the water. He's thinking, why am I at where I'm at right now? Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't know how he answers that question. I won't pretend to be able to read his mind or to say what he even changed. But when he steps away from the table during that timeout at 0-2, to two, there's a process that he goes through that works for him, and it works because it's, it's 30 seconds to think about it. Shot blocked by Weiborg. Scooped it up to the three, but just missed by Byrie. Mo, he's going to try to do something here, and what he does is... That's another baited pass. I didn't mean to step on you. No, that was good. I like it. Wow. Open hand attempt. That's, man. Co so Cody's actually gotten three of those this game. Like they talked about, he was going to bait it and going to get it. He, ha he, he has two quick three-bar shots and a, and a five-bar shot off of those three steals. And I, I, like, I like the intention. Uh, I like that he talked about it. He expected it. He baited it. And I'm not sure why he's just burning those possessions that, that in that an, moment. That is an excellent, excellent I observation. The time. I would have. <laughs> no ref here, but... Unless he shows me on the stopwatch, next time I'm going to go 17 and a half. Schlafer puts the ball back in play in the second game. Up 1 nothing in game score. Down 2 3 in this game. Phil and Mo are out of timeouts. In this open doubles finals of the 2023 Washington State Foosball Championships, Schlafer, rollover position after a smooth pass to himself. Gets that blocked and off the ball it goes. Yeah, when they fly up, go hard after them. Not good. You can't be saying yeah when the, when you block. They never that said didn't yeah. Dis that didn't distract you from you, it. It was in my area when I said yeah. No, it w you said yeah when you blocked it. Did you it. stop playing? No, you were trying to catch it. Do you deny that you said yeah right when you blocked the ball? It came out, but I can't tell you when I said it. You get what I'm saying, right, Mo? I crazy. have no idea what happened, but I don't, so like don't want to go. So, my no, no, pass no, 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 no. and then says, yeah, and I'm trying to I get the ball I didn't hear back. anything, but if, did you say yeah? I did, but it was in my area when I said it. You said it when the ball's, like, in between us, and I'm trying to get it. You want to get a ref? It doesn't help me focus. I guess we you have to. get a ref if you sure. want, but. Yeah, we'll get a ref. That didn't keep you from catching the ball, but it's a good excuse for you. I get it. I guess we need a ref then. I don't you got the ball on your five, so we can play or you can get a ref. Well, I don't want an argument when you admit to breaking a rule and then don't like where the ball goes based on what the rules. So if we need a ref, we'll get one to enforce the rules. If it's up to you. Yeah, I, we'll get a ref. Okay. Don's right there. I mean, he can he can call this. You think Don's there because he's all me? He's so happy. <laughs> he's all me. And by the way... <laughs> Wait, anybody but, yeah, anybody but, wait a minute. You know, and I'd be curious to see if that the conversation comes up in between games, between Phil and Mo. As that ties that up 4-4 because what I love about this combination of mic'd players plus stats is that we have the felt experience versus the actual statistical right. experience, and that is a powerful tool to win. As Mo picks that up now, a chance to take it to a third game, up to nothing. And he's trying different stuff about that. He, he knows they're on him. That one gets through, but he, he's, uh, he's going to have to figure out something between games if he's going to be a factor in the rest of this match. Final timeout called. I think we're all out. So when the goalie is standing there on the, the pole side, it's not there. But the second is like bobbing around and it's moving. Pole side? I think it's I think it's huge pole side. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Ball back in the play. 4-4. Second game. Open doubles. Final. Quick shot by Byrie. Back to Mo. It goes. Mo knows he's under the spotlight. 
Yeah, another still. It's just he's, he, and I, I don't even know if he knows how much they figured him out. I mean, they set him up for this whole game. The conversation they had before this. Buried that. 1-1. One, one. Third game we go. The odds, by the way, folks, that the team comparison is showing is 82-18. 82% in favor of Cody and Wyborg. Tied up 1-1. One, 2-1 one. One now in favor of Phil. Mo tied up 1-1 one, one in game score in this first set. This 3 out of 5 finals. Open doubles, the Washington State 2023 Foosball Championships. I'm Adam Gilson. There's Clay Toomey on stats and chats and and um, that. <laughs> Three two in favor of Cody and Joseph. Phil's five bar has been dipping off a little bit. That's one of the first nice ones we've seen him have in a while. He's passing 50%, 15 for 29, so. Phil looks <laughs> doing a completely different look on his rollover. Blocked. Wow. Big clap from Joseph. Charged. So all that fake shit that you were, you were, you were, he shouldn't he find, but when you start, I mean, it's just too basic. Nothing fancy. I just threw that in to just he's get not, him off me a little bit. I, I understand that, but the fake one, you were shooting fine, then you changed it to throwing fake. All right. So just whatever is working, just it. keep working. All right. Shot attempt by Mo. It's first one he's had on goal in a while. 3-3, yeah. three, three, though. Wyborg. Nice save to keep it out of there. Phil got a piece of that, sent it right back to the goal, and Wyborg attacked it and kept it out and put his own shot on goal. You know, it amazes to me. It amazes me. It amazes me that, that Moe's clearing at 74%, even though it felt like there was a while there where he just right. everything was just going to Cody. Yeah. Well, they came. At, that was that second game where they he you know was brutal in the first game. Lots of passes, lots of like stuff like this, and even at like I was saying earlier, even after Cody was baiting him for those passes, and there was a point where all the – this possession is the perfect example where Mo was still hitting it into Cody, but Cody is – I don't know if he's holding that five rod too tight or if something else is happening, but he's just handing the ball right back to Phil on the five bar. And that's still a clear. That still counts as a clear. If your forward gets the ball, that is 100% a clear. Byron again now, 3-3. Three, three. We're all over position, looking and looking. Timeout called. But he's setting up on that white line on the far box right there. That's that's where he's been setting up the whole time. And again, Cody blocks it. And it just goes right to Phil's five bar. That's probably half a dozen. Wow. Five bar shot. Barry tied up 4-4. Four, four. Woo. Ready? Yeah. God, that is, that is tough. This is a monstrous third game, Clay. Love it. Hard along the wall by Byrie now. Looking to put this one away. Golly. Take it to a fourth. Mo. Let's see if he does that tap tap. He was like, oh, there's one. Mo's not moving. Two, three. And he takes a timeout. Byrie now after Phil missed that first attempt. Blocked by Mo off the table. Let's see. Really feeling it. All right, ready? Yep, ready. <laughs> Mo. Nice shot, Mo. Shot by Mo, one nothing. Been threatening the entire ready? set. Yeah. <laughs> Here he comes. Byrie reels it in on the five, hard along the wall, sets up, rollover position, takes his time. Five bar cam action. Yeah, that's a distraction. You have to call that. Honest compliment in play. 
That should be a technical. That's a technical. I'm sorry. That's a technical. You gotta enforce the rules. You can't I just said nice block, and you're punishing you me for that. Yeah, but when he's shooting or playing with the ball, and he causes it. It was in my area. It's a distraction. No, it was on his ball. We didn't do that. It's a distraction. Goes to Cody's five. Ready? Ready? So most of that got called correctly, <laughs> and that was taken well. Kudos, kudos to Don for immediately. I don't know about immediately, but he did call that, and he and he didn't really. Yes. The call got made. I'll say that. Good luck, Phil. I know. Um, I actually think Phil's going to uh, going to. He's pushing. He's pushing the limits of what is okay. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Because it, it, the rules again very clearly say that you can't talk when the opponent is doing something offensively. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a compliment. You can't talk. To, you can't tap the table to say nice pass or I'm sorry. None of that matters. You can't talk while the ball's in play. Mm -hmm. Mo calling a timeout. He's going to get out to him. Yeah. All right, we'll take one. Right now, you're getting frustrated. Why do you always criticize me during I'm the match? I'm not. Just worry about you. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. okay. I'm good. Play through it. Let's go. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. I'll tone it down. So that, that's a good teammate. That's that's Mo looking out for his teammate, and the, and the only point of that is to say, I think you're, I think you're kind of losing it. Which is, it's, oh, everybody here saw that, by the way. Yeah. And Phil's a good dude. It's nothing personal for for us to point that out. Um, he did. He 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 let his emotions get in there a little too hard, and it's smart if you're Mo to call that timeout and uh, and do exactly what he did. Um, and and initially, you know, Phil pushed back on it. He's like, why are you always blah 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 blah, but. He backed off of that pretty fast and, and, and did tell him thank you. And I like that. It's a good exchange. It is a good exchange. That's a good exchange, too, down the middle. 2-2 two, two now. Uh, it's a hill to climb. It's Cody and Byery. Cody and Byery. <laughs> Byery and Wyborg. Give that man some credit down there. <laughs> That's funny. Love that five bar cam. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the five bar cam. A great block there. Saved by Weiborg. Wow. Phil read that bounce pass a mile away. Down by one. Needs to do something with it. Needs to calm down. As Mo said, he's losing it. I mean, that's fortunate there. He can convert and maybe get back into it. But uh, do not rattle yourself. Cannot be seeds in a gourd as Mo is trying to keep them in it, but the bank shot far side, and I like that. I like that Clay. I like him just doing something completely outside of the box yeah. now. Do something. It's close enough. Do something. Phil is just gobbling up all of these balls in the middle of the table. I mean, no matter what goalie it comes from, if it's a loose ball, he's getting it on his five. Beautiful pass. My gosh. Phil. Thanks, Bruce. 3-3. Three, Phil's three. talking to the crowd now. Yeah. Where is the timeouts? They have one. We have two, two right? Two, yeah. Hard along the wall. Cody goes. Roll over position now. Mo. The defense that he's offering is so smart. Mm. The way that he's bobbing off that and coming back. going to do it again. He switches now, though. Interesting. Oh, he's doing all kinds of different stuff. Very fun. And it works. Those two different looks and two different possessions. <clears throat> that pass along the wall. My goodness, Moe's looking for MVP of this match. Talk about switching it up from Moe Uden. Try to ease the pass down the down the lane, but it wasn't there. Gets another attempt here. He's gonna fire a bank shot though, but it ends up on the five of Byrie, who it's a pro play. Yeah, yeah. it's a pro play. This is championship point here for Cody and Joseph in this first set. Up 2-1. Up 4-3 in game count. Washington State 2023 Open Doubles Final.
timeout called. You want me to rip a monster pole? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this new read that I'm doing. Yeah. Just take your time. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Joseph trying to get in there to pinch hit. <laughs> yeah, wanted to do a monster long. Maybe just lightening the mood. Who knows? Match point, championship point. Cody Byrie puts it back into play. Open doubles. Washington State 2023, and he buries it down the middle, and there you have it. In four games, Cody Byrie and Joseph Weiborg defeat Phil Schlafer and Mo Uden. My bad. No, he bricked my five bar. Good job, Bridget.